Hello students, hello viewers. Welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is lovely themes of numbers. If you are in senior college, you are preparing for YF, for NECO, for GC, for NAPTEC, for JAMP, or any other external or entrance examinations into high school, this topic, this lesson is for you. Lesson four, lovely theme of numbers less than one so we're going to take it under the operation of multiplication division powers and roots we have examples before that for updates follow voice of peter course via youtube at peter course simplified maths to do that subscribe to this channel like this video share to your friends your colleagues your classmates your students you can also follow voice of peter course via Facebook, Instagram at Peter Course Simplified Maths. For questions and inquiries, use the comment section. We attend to them. So we take the first set of operations, that is multiplication and division. As I said in lesson three, this apply or this implies addition and subtraction of log values so 22 you have 0 0.3426 times 0 0.1938 these two numbers are less than one in the solution we draw a simple table with two columns first column will have numbers second column is their log so the first number is 0 0.3426. Remember in lesson 2, I told us that once the number is less than 1, the characteristic is always negative and that the best approach is standard form. But you can also use a shortcut of counting the number of zeros before the first non-zero number. In this case, the first non-zero number is three the number of zeros before it is just one and that will be in negative form so the characteristic is minus one or bar one written as bar one for the matissa you check 34 under two differences that will give five three four for the second number, we also have that the characteristic is minus 1, written as by 1. For the matissa, you check 19 under 3 difference 8. When you do that, you have 2, 8, 7, 4. Multiplication implies addition of log values. So, if you add these two numbers, you are going to have this result. If you can add the addition, there is no carrying over to the other side. So, you just have minus 1 plus minus 1. This is the expanded form. So, minus 1 plus minus 1. It implies minus 1 minus 1 and that is minus 2. And minus 2 is written as bar 2 okay so we share the antilog of bar 2.8222 in the antilog we are interested in the decimal part so you check 0.82 under 2 difference 2 you have 6 6 4 0 6 6 Four zero. Okay, so in this case, if we are to indicate the point, you don't add to bar two again. You don't add to bar two because when we are getting the characteristic part, we didn't add or subtract. So you just take bar two means you move or you add the uh, two zero before the first non zero number so if you add the two zeros so you have zero zero and the point is 
usually after the first zero so you have zero point zero six six four zero point zero six six four are you following okay the next example is on division so we have the first number is 0 0.52 the characteristic is minus 1 that is by 1 from your logarithm table you check 52 under 0 because there's no other digits after 2 you have to take it 0 so you check 52 under 0 when you do that you have 7160 7160 for the second number we have two zeros before nine that is the first non zero digit that means we have minus two as the characteristic written as bar two then you check 92 under three difference five you have nine six five four next thing is to subtract when you are to subtract you see that when you get to this point you need to borrow from decimal part and you cannot borrow from negative so you have to come here and write it in expanded form now listen this seven needs one from minus one which is not possible in order for all to subtract what we do is that you write an expression that will give you minus one when you reverse it so that expression is minus two plus one so we are giving room to that one that we need to borrow from, from minus one which we cannot so I have to write minus 1 as minus 2 plus 1. So we can get that positive 1. That is the idea behind it. Now that we've noted that, so we subtract 0 minus 4. It cannot. You borrow from 6. It becomes 10 minus 4. That is 6. Here they made 5. Here now we are left with 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 1 minus 6 cannot you borrow 1 from 7 you add it to 1 it becomes 11 minus this 6 you get 5 this 7 is left with 6 you borrow 1 so if you take this 1 from here and add it to 6 it becomes 16 16 minus 9 is 7 so in the middle of this one 0 is left so 0 plus zero there you have uh, zero minus zero is zero you have the plus there now you have minus two minus minus two that is minus two plus two equal to zero so if you add zero plus zero is zero so we have zero point seven five zero six zero point seven five zero six Next is to share the antilog of this number where you take 0 0.75 under 0 difference 6. You have 5, 6, 3, 1. 3, 1. So the integer part here, the integer part is 0. Is 0. That means you have to move, you have to move from the left one step forward if you move one step forward here is going to be 5.632 5.631 rather 5.631 so if the integer part in this your answer is negative as we said earlier you, you don't add again you don't add you just write the number of negative there as zero behind but if it is positive then you add one you move the point forward the number of step that you have there so example 24 
is on power 0 0.2945 power 4 so you take the number first 0 0.2945 the integer part is minus 1 that is by 1 then you check 29 under 4 difference 5 you have 4 6 9 0 if you include the power it means you multiply by 1.4690 by 4 by 4 so in this other part we simply factor out by 1 for us to have by 1 plus 0 0.4690 so you know when multiplying you start from you start from uh, from the unit that is from right to left so you have 4 times 0 you have 0 there 4 times 6 36 put down 6 carry 3 4 times 6 24 plus 3 is 27 put down 7 carry 2 4 times 4 16 plus that 2 carry that is 18 put that 8 carry 1 followed by the point 4 times 0 is 0 plus in 1 you carry it you have 1 then the plus is there 4 times by 1 that is by 4 so by 4 plus 1 simply means minus 4 plus 1 that is minus 3 also written as by 3 before point eight seven six zero. for the anti-logarithm you check point eight seven under six there's no difference that is seven five one six but three means you add three zeros behind in this form where the point is after the first zero so you have zero point zero zero seven five one six you following all right so example 25 is on roots so we have the fourth root of 0 0.05457 we take the number first that is 0 0.05457 the characteristic is bar 2 we have two zeros before five so we have minus that is bar 2 then for the matissa you check 54 under 5 difference 7 and that is 3 7 7 3 7 0 7 3 7 0 the fourth root of the numbers imply you are going to divide it by 4 when we are dividing remember we start from left to right now look at bar 2 or minus 2 to divide this actually we are going to have uh, it, it to be less than 1 to be 0 point something but we don't want that so we are going to write bar 2 such that it can be divided by 4 easily so what you are going to write now should contain 4 because 4 divided by 4 is 1 if it contains 4 mind you if you reverse it you are still going to have bar 2 so the best number to use you have minus 4 plus 2 so this expression will give us bar 2 we are using bar 4 because 4 divided by 4 is 1 so if bar for instance if bar 2 were to be bar 3 so we are going to write something like that 4 can divide maybe like bar 12 also plus any other thing but because we have bar 2 or we write bar 8 yes bar 8 so that divide by bar 8 by 4 you have bar 2 but because we have bar 2 there we use bar 4 plus 2 to give us bar 2 to enable us divide without stress so divide by 2 if you divide by 4 by 4 this 4 there you have by 1 you divide 2 ok 
okay so after that we'll take uh, this to get that now so you divide 27 by 4 you're going to have 6 remainder 1 you take the remainder okay 6 remainder 3 remainder 3 if you take the remainder to this 3 you have 33 divided by 4 is 8 remainder 1 okay okay you're going to take it from this uh, from this part from this part not from where it is so let me remove that okay so let's take it from this is the answer part of it yeah yeah okay so if we divide by four by four you have by one then follow by plus if you divide two divide two by four you know it is cannot that cannot means zero then point you take that two now to seven it becomes 27 divide by four you have six remainder three you take three to join three it becomes 33 divided by four you have eight remainder one one if you add the one to seven it becomes 17 divided by four you have four remainder one you add one to zero it becomes 10 divided by four you have two remainder two because of the point if you add zero to the remainder two it becomes 20 divided by four is five so when you add by one plus zero is by one you know in logarithm we are interested in four digits so we take six eight four two neglecting five so we take the anti-log by checking point six eight under four difference two difference two okay and that gives eight four three three by one means you add one zero behind that is this zero and the point comes after the zero so you have zero point eight four three three as the result for evaluating the fourth root of 0 0.05457. End of lesson 4. Thanks for watching and learning. Don't forget, watch out for more from the voice of Peter Cos. Lastly, if you are not safe, your life is in crisis, to avoid that, you give your life to the one that can save you, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, and you confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are saved already, I tell you, be congratulations, live righteously, and be prepared, because on the last day, some will be taken and some will be left. Take good care of yourself, stay out of trouble, study your books. Do the needful at all times. Flee every appearance of evil. Don't defraud others to make money. Use your hands and your brain to work. And the Lord will bless you. Goodbye.